thousands of drivers detoured as TDOT cleans up a landslide that has closed the eastbound lanes of Interstate 24. This is a live look as crews work day and night to get this taken care of. The highway won't be open for at least another two weeks. And now people who live along the detour say they need help. New Channel 5's Eric Hilt, uh, Hilt is live in Jolton where neighbors are hoping the state will step in. Yeah, Kerry, right now, not a lot of activity here on White's Creek Pike. Not a lot of cars. That won't be the case tomorrow morning. Drivers can expect bumper to bumper traffic for miles as those cars are being diverted off of the interstate and onto smaller back roads like these. It's certainly a headache for drivers, but people who live in this area, they say it's dangerous, and now they're looking to the highway patrol for help. Outside of Jolton Middle School on White's Creek Pike, Crossing guard Ted Bates stands strong against a stream of semis and droves of disgruntled drivers. I should have stayed home. The flood of traffic is being diverted off of I-24 and onto the smaller roads after a landslide shut down the interstate's eastbound lanes, creating a massive problem for people who live nearby. If you don't know the back roads, you won't make it nowhere. Especially in the mornings. It's staying backed up from here almost to Pleasantview. You're more or less stuck in the molasses and residents worry that molasses will become dangerous as big rigs try and navigate notoriously curvy back roads what we refer to here in Jolton is devil's elbow it's a real hairpin turn so it's just a matter of time in my opinion until somebody has a drastic wreck there so now Gary Moore and other neighbors are asking for help several of the uh, citizens up here have called the uh, mayor's office, the police department, and everybody trying to get uh, some traffic control up here. Metro Nashville police told me it sent officers to the area, but Moore argues it's not enough. Now he's asking the Tennessee Highway Patrol to step in to keep truckers off certain roads and keep traffic moving. I think the best thing they could do is to get to the traffic lights that are, that are involved and control those traffic lights so that the traffic can flow better. Giving Jolton Crossing Guards some help directing traffic. Now, some drivers are skeptical even having THP troopers up here will help. They say there are just too many cars on these side roads. Reporting live in Jolton, Eric Hilt, News Channel 5. Eric, thank you.